welcome to Cajun Cooking, uh, where the food is always Louisiana authentic and Cajun certified. Today we're cooking uh, pork roast. This is a cut of Boston butt. I uh, seasoned this last night with some dry rub. Uh, the rub I use, I make myself. It uh, consists of sea salt, brown sugar, paprika, some black pepper, garlic powder, onion salt, celery salt, chili powder, and cayenne pepper. I can't tell you the exact amounts I used. You have to play around with that until uh, you get the flavor you're looking for. So I just uh, uh, put the dry rub all over the roast, bagged it up, put it in the ice box overnight. I took it out today. I'm going to let it get down to room temperature. We're going to be cooking it in a Dutch oven pot outside. This is a 14 inch Dutch oven. It's probably a little big for what we're doing today. It's the only size I have. Um, I'll be quartering up an onion to put in there. We'll be using a few bay leaves. Uh, half to a cup of chicken broth and a little bit of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And we'll see y'all outside and show you how that's done. Okay, what I did was I got my charcoal lit. I'm using a, a little chimney right here. Uh, basically, you just throw your charcoal in there, stuff a few balls of uh, newspaper at the bottom of it. You light it in about 20 minutes you have some good red hot coals. I uh, placed my coals in my pan, uh, set my Dutch oven on top of it, uh, poured a little bit of olive oil in it, got my oil real hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my roast and we're going to sear the roast just to lock in all that flavor. You want to get the oil good and hot for this. Basically what you're doing is you're just encrusting that roast to lock in the flavors. That way later on when you slow cook it, all your rub will stay on the roast. We're going to go ahead and brown this thing, um, sear it real good, and before we start to add any ingredients, uh, we'll come back to show y'all. Okay, now that our roast is good and brown. We're going to take it out, set it aside. We'll go ahead and wipe out some of this excess grease. Move our pot to the side. Move some of the coals to the lid. Arrange those in a nice circle. Put our pot back on top. And we're going to add a half a cup of chicken broth.
couple of bay leaves. Go ahead and add three. We've added three bay leaves. Then we gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Put your roast in. And then we just cover with the lid. We're gonna let it sit for an hour. And we'll come back to check on it in an hour. Okay, it's been about an hour since we first put the lid on. As you can see, our, a lot of our coals are burning down pretty good. I'm a, after we check on it, I'm about to add some more coals to it just to keep this thing hot because it still needs to go about another hour and a half to two hours. But uh, let's take a look at it and see what we got so far. Oh yeah, it's cooking down nicely. Um, I forgot to mention earlier after I added the uh, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, I also added the uh, one chopped onion and put in there. So it seems to be doing pretty good, cooking down nicely. It's going to be nice and tender. Uh, you may also want to get you a digital thermometer. You want this thing to be about 160 to 165 internal temperature. Um, once it reaches that internal temperature, then it's good. We're going to replenish these coals, put the lid back on it, let it go for about another hour and a half to two hours. All right, it's been another hour. We've taken our roast out of the pot. This thing is super tender. I mean, this is fart tender. It's falling right apart. Um, two hours total cook time. We have uh, twice baked potato, green beans, smothered with onions and bacon, and a little bit of our pork roast. Oh yeah, that's good. Look y'all, get yourself a Dutch oven, try this at home, hope this video has been helpful. Uh, remember where you saw it first, Cajun cooking, Louisiana Authentic, Cajun certified.